Good, whatever your time zone is. I hope you're having a good, uh, whatever your time zone is. But enough of the introductions, though, because what we've got served on the slice of life today is... I, I really don't understand this, but for some reason, liberals just like proving themselves to be parrots from the big media companies. Because they're straight up using clips of children to prove that people don't like Trump. Like, yeah, there are people who obviously don't like Trump, but since when have grown-ups with functioning brains cared about what a literal child said about politics? <laughs> you can't make this up, folks. It is straight up hilarious. Imagine equating your political positions as the same positions that children agree with. I thought that liberals were supposed to be more educated than the right, but here they are using children to spew distaste about who they don't like. Uh, here, I'll, I'll show you that post before I continue. What's the first thing you think of when I say Donald Trump? Small fingers and orange face. Do you think he's smart? No. Why not? He treats people badly and that's why I don't think he's smart. Donald Trump has a lot of nicknames for people like Crooked Hillary, Rocket Man. Do you have a nickname for him? Um. Poop face. <laughs> Mr. Tiny Hands. Uh, Cheeto. Can you do an impression of him? It's gonna be great. <laughs> we are gonna build a wall, and it will be huge. I will build a wall, a big one. China, China, China. Here's your paper towels. Like, <laughs> I just. I want to get this out there. Uh, I have no ill will towards the kids. I, I don't really give a fuck about what they think. If they were maybe around 15 and up, then I might take them more literally as a thinking person, but they are kids. Why can't liberals just like kids be kids? Like, what am I as a conservative gonna do here? Oh no, the children don't like Trump. Oh, the horror. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I'm honestly just having a laugh reading these comments under that. Because they're championing these kids as if they're doing anything but being children. The one kid said that they don't think Trump is smart because she thinks that Trump is mean. We cracked the code, everyone. Only kind people are smart. You hear that, you Christian weirdos? Solomon wasn't smart because he was mean. <laughs> Liberals, using children for your own political positions make you seem mentally childish. You're basing your reality on what children think. Gosh, these people are so stupid and they don't even realize it. If any one of you think that this isn't comedy, then I just don't know what to tell you, because this is hilarious. And then, further down this rabbit hole of the hashtag Trump meltdown totem pole, is someone actually claiming that Kamala brings in a bigger crowd. Quote, Not sure what's more pathetic, Trump having a presser for Mar-a-Lago because he's hurt that Kamala draws way bigger crowds, or his media lapdogs agreeing to air that morons for an hour with little or no fact checking. Well guys, apparently whoever Larry is likes fact checking. So. Let us take a look at the difference between Kamala going live and Trump just being in a live. After President Donald Trump went on Aiden Ross's record-setting live stream, Ross gave Trump a cyber truck with his iconic fight image to over half a million live viewers, which really highlights the contrast between Kamala's live stream on Joe Biden's nearly 1 million subscriber channel, only receiving an abysmal 500 live viewers. Night and day, folks. Isn't it funny that someone claiming that no one does fact checking against Trump is the same person who isn't factual? Projection much? But hey, that's just typical liberal activities of projecting themselves onto Trump supporters. But uh, anywho, so uh, just before we go for today, I want to show you something else that just got me chuckling. It's a rally that Kamala had, and this is hilarious. You got the music in the background and the camera just 
pans over to everyone looking at their phones and no one vibing to the music. <laughs> They're just waiting for the lunch break to be over so they can get back to important things. Uh, alright, alright. Uh, so, my statement about liberals being stupid is uh, still correct. And this whole entire hashtag is just funny to me. I feel like the liberals are thinking that they're getting a one-up on conservatives with this hashtag, but I'll be honest, I think that this is just comedy. Liberals are using literal children to pander their message, and then they're claiming that the right wing doesn't fact check while being incorrect in the same post. And then, at their own political rally, they look so uninterested in what they agree with. Uh, you could put gaming graphics of NPC above all of those people, and I would believe that this was video game rendering that made that image. So, uh, I think you know what the messaging is gonna be, with the liberals using children to pander their message. Liberals are stupid, and if you're upset with that messaging, then you're probably a fool, because the truth is what it is. And if your political ideas are adequate to childish ideas, then you're bound to make things worse for everyone as you continue to live in make-belief land. But guess what, fellow brain users? There is a simple solution to a liberal foolishness. And that solution is to just vote conservative. It is common sense, and at least by you doing so, then you'll be doing the right thing for America. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.